we begin tonight with housing. A home is often the greatest source of wealth and savings for many families. One of the reasons why it's watched so closely by both Wall Street and Main Street. And today we learned that existing home sales rose to the highest level in more than a year. It was a surprise given that expectations were for a decline. And it was welcome news for a housing market that has been lukewarm at best, raising hopes that the slump may be about to end. Diana Olick starts us off tonight. After a pretty unremarkable spring, the summer housing market saw some unexpected strength. Sales of existing homes jumped to the highest level in over a year in August and were higher annually for the second month in a row. Lower mortgage rates were a big factor. The average rate on the 30-year fix started May over 4%, but then fell through June and July when the contracts on these August sales were signed. We anticipated that home buyers would be reaching the market, but the magical power of low mortgage rate clearly enticed buyers to the market. The biggest problem in the market now is lack of supply, which fell more than 2% annually in August. Home builders did start more houses in August compared with a year ago, and building permits were also strong, indicating future construction. Unfortunately, builders are still not focused on the entry level, and the price gains for existing homes are heating up again. Right now, the prices are rising strongly because of lack of inventory. And at some point, even the low rates will not help uh, because people will be priced out. Mortgage rates also turned higher at the start of this month, making those pricey homes even pricier. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.